The sun rises on another scorching day on the south coast of Spain, its rays illuminating one of the most extraordinary sites in agriculture. El Mar de Plástico, they call it, the Sea of Plastic. Tens of thousands of acres of white hothouses, an area so large it's visible from space. Under that plastic grow the vegetables that fill the tables of northern Europe throughout the winter. Cucumbers, tomatoes, courgettes, here aubergines. And virtually all tended, grown and picked by immigrants. Physical work in temperatures above 40 degrees, which Spaniards won't do. And yet it is here in the land of white plastic that anti-immigrant sentiment is radically changing Spanish politics. Juan José Bonilla encapsulates this irony. He owns the business, employs migrant workers, and yet by the end of next week he could be the mayor of this town, representing Vox, the new far-right anti-immigrant party that won almost a third of the votes here just last month. Right now there are hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants, he told me, and that makes people feel unsafe. What would happen uh, to all these farms that live under this sea of plastic if there were no immigrants? Los inmigrantes son necesarios. Sí. Immigrants are necessary, he conceded. If they were to disappear, which isn't going to happen, we would have to lower our production. The insatiable demand for migrant labor is changing the demographics here fueling open support for the far right in an area marked by memorials to crimes committed under General Franco. This one in Almeria to 142 Jews and other opponents handed over to die in Hitler's concentration camps. With memories of fascism so fresh here in Spain, Franco only died just over 40 years ago, it had been assumed, perhaps complacently, that Spain would not be part of the far right nationalist surge that we've seen elsewhere in Europe. No one thinks that anymore. At a Socialist Party rally last night, there is a definite feeling that the old days of two centrist parties fighting each other have long gone. The most closer, closer uh, position to Franco's situation in 40 years that I live here in Spain. Dangerous times then. Yeah, very dangerous time, very dark time. Next week's elections may be a good guide, with every chance that Spanish far-right MPs will now join those from Hungary, France, Italy and elsewhere in Brussels. And every chance too that a new mayor in El Ejido will be pressing the government in Madrid to send home the very migrants who pick the crops on which his town is built. James Mates News at 10, El Ejido, southern Spain.